Injuries from electric scooter accidents in Colorado. Legal actions. In recent years, electric scooters have revolutionized urban transportation, offering a convenient and eco-friendly alternative for short-distance travel. However, as their popularity soars, so do the incidents of accidents related to these electric-powered vehicles. Colorado, like many other states, has witnessed a surge in electric scooter-related injuries, prompting a closer look at the legal actions available to those affected. To comprehend the gravity of the situation, it's vital to delve into the statistics surrounding electric scooter accidents in Colorado. Reports indicate a notable uptick in incidents, with a substantial portion involving injuries of varying severity. Factors such as rider behavior, road conditions, and interactions with other vehicles play a significant role in these accidents, warranting a detailed examination. The surge in electric scooter-related injuries. Electric scooter accidents can lead to a spectrum of injuries, ranging from minor bruises and abrasions to more severe fractures and head trauma. In many cases, the aftermath of an electric scooter accident extends far beyond the initial injury. Victims may face prolonged recovery periods, extensive medical bills, and even permanent disabilities. Legal Implications for Electric Scooter Accidents In the aftermath of an electric scooter accident, one of the pivotal questions revolves around liability. Pinpointing who is legally responsible, whether it's the rider, another motorist, or even the scooter company, requires a thorough assessment of the circumstances surrounding the incident. Steps to take after an electric scooter accident. Seeking immediate medical attention. Documenting the accident. Reporting the incident and gathering evidence. Gathering evidence for legal proceedings. Pursuing legal action. For those pursuing legal action, it's essential to gather evidence and build a compelling case. Conclusion. Injuries stemming from electric scooter accidents represent a growing concern, particularly in states like Colorado where their use is prevalent. Understanding the legal actions available in the aftermath of an accident is crucial for both riders and pedestrians alike. FAQs. Can I sue the scooter company if I'm injured in an accident? Yes, if the accident was due to a fault on the part of the scooter company, you may have grounds for a lawsuit. It's important to consult with a legal professional to assess the specifics of your case. What if I wasn't wearing a helmet during the accident? While not wearing a helmet can impact your case, it doesn't necessarily negate your right to pursue legal action. An attorney can provide guidance on how this may influence your situation. How long do I have to file a lawsuit after an electric scooter accident? The statute of limitations for personal injury cases in Colorado is typically two years. However, it's advisable to consult with an attorney promptly to ensure you meet all legal deadlines. Can I still file a lawsuit if I was partially at fault for the accident? Yes, Colorado follows a modified comparative negligence rule, meaning you can still pursue a claim even if you were partially at fault. What damages can I potentially recover in an electric scooter accident lawsuit? You may be eligible to recover various damages, including medical expenses, lost wages, pain and suffering, and more. Consulting with a lawyer will provide a detailed assessment of the potential damages specific to your case.